focus on a story that could present a political storm for Kenya legislators could lose their parliamentary leadership and committee membership slots should the Odeon party made, make good its threat to discipline them over the party leader Moses Otangula's sentiments that the opposition Nasa coalition is dead. Led by ODM chairman John Mbadi, the leaders want the Ford Kenya MPs to declare their stand over Otangula's statement, failure to which the party leadership in parliament will institute disciplinary action. A very fiery press conference there by ODM members of parliament. Now on phone we have uh, Mushima Boni Khalwale. Mushima, good morning. Welcome uh, to the program. First, your reaction to this statement by ODM members of parliament? Oh, because uh, within the NASA coalition, we never appointed any party to be the first amongst equal. Secondly, no party in NASA enjoys the position of being the whip in ge general. So to attempt to say that one party can discipline members of another party is nonsense. What ODM should realize is that people who respect the rule of law are waiting for them to make up their minds whether they are in government or in the opposition. Their utterances, the behavior of Raila Dinga confirms that they are in government, and for that reason, it is them who are supposed to relinqu relinquish positions that they hold by deed of being in the opposition. They have gone to government. They should go and ask Jubilee to share with them the seats re reserved for the government side. Of course, you're saying all parties are equal in NASA. First, before I move over to my next question, let's listen in verbatim to what John Bardi and other members of parliament from the ODM party had to say. And what I see of Senator Wetangula today is a person who is uh, in the path where his emotions are getting destroyed by the day. Could we ask him to take a moment, relax, rest, even take some off, from politics, go rest somewhere so that he can recover fully from the shock that is no longer uh, the leader of the minority in the Senate of the Republic of Kenya. Juzi ni meona ndoa kati ya wetangula na Eugene Wamalwa. I want to state here categorically that a marriage between wetangula and Eugene Wamalwa is synonymous to a marriage between two men which cannot bear children. Wanaume wawili wezi za mtoto. So hiyo ni mapenzi ambayo Sisi tunasema kwamba haita za chochote, it's cosmetic, na haita enda popote. Those members from Ford Kenya, especially my deputy and going forward, if I don't get any letter in the next 48 hours disassociating themselves from the statements of their party leader, action will be taken. If I, we don't receive letters disassociating from the statement of their party leader as Ford Kenya, the ones who are holding offices, now the NASA leadership in parliament will take action. Statement about earlier by a section of ODM members of parliament. Now, Mushma Bonikalwale, we've heard what the members of parliament from ODM had to say. Of course, you've reacted to that, saying that, you know, all parties are equal under NASA. So the next question is this. Do you agree with Wetangula that NASA is dead? What, what is your personal opinion first on NASA? I think let us be very specific uh, in uh, quoting uh, Senator Wetangula. Wetangula said the, part, the, the coalition is moribund. The difference between moribund and dead is that moribund means you are nearing death. For that reason, I want to agree with him 100%, only that because I've got a medical background, I can expound on it by telling all Kenyans who care to hear that NASA is not only moribund, but is actually on a life-saving machine. And what is required is courage for one of the core principles to go and switch off so that that thing called NASA can be buried and be forgotten. It is meaningless. The audience members of parliament will 